I've got, well, first of all, I've got this, which is pretty cool, but I've got a, a mile long to-do list of things I need to get done in this van. And uh, I bought this van to do some cross country traveling in it. And we've done some cross country traveling in it, but it's still yet to really be up to snuff and be really comfortable to travel in. And so this isn't so much for the channel as much as it is just for me to get something done. I'm gonna try to, for the foreseeable future, do something to this video, this van every day. Just do a little something and knock it all out eventually. So today, we're gonna try to give these uh, windows a fresh new start. I don't know how it's gonna go, but uh, they're pretty dirty from previous cross country thrift trips and stuff. So let's see what we can do to them. Ooh, I just got myself all wet. <laughs> oh, it works good. Yeah. Well, I'll show you how hot it is out here. It just dries instantly. Just where does it go? Where does it go? I think this is actually working pretty well. I didn't know if it ever would. Usually I just use like a scraper blade, but I deep cleaned this thing when I first bought it and haven't done it since. But that window right there is brand new. You could eat off that. Now, the windshield needs it way more. It's just ugly, but that's gonna take a little bit more elbow grease. That's gonna take a little bit more doing. I don't know how I'm gonna do this. Oh, look at that. Look how, look at it. Now, let me give you a little clean. You're dirty too. All right, let's uh, figure out how we're gonna do this. It's 110 or so degrees right now. So that van is super hot. I'm not gonna be able to get up there easily, but I got a long reach, so maybe, maybe we could just retch it. I should go to the car wash and do this because I'm not gonna actually be able to keep it wet enough to really get through it. All right, we're looking pretty clean, except for these cracks in the window. Should just get a new windshield, but here we are. I don't. I think that's on my insurance policy to be able to do that on this car because it's uh, not full coverage and I just don't pay for it. But this is small steps. Uh, bigger steps coming in the next week or so are to put more wood panels and insulation here. Oh my God! Oh my God! Oh my God! You scared the shit out of me. What do you want, devil woman? <laughs> I can't, I can't breathe. I don't even know what I was saying. Camera fell over too. I hope it got that. What do you want? Uh, you're talking about something, so finish your clip. Um, okay, we need to put more wood paneling. In it, paneling. I can't even talk. And insulation in here. Uh, and hopefully by the time we get all this done, a few weeks worth of work, a couple months worth of work maybe at the most, Maybe travel restrictions will be lifted and it'll be easy to travel and go on the road thrifting. It's gonna be great! If Hannah doesn't give me a heart attack first. <laughs> I guess she's gotta talk about something important though, so I'll be right back. Look at her walking in with the bucket all happy. What should we do to get her back today? That's the real question. I think I should scare her right in the middle of a Goodwill? It might happen. We gotta hit the post office real quick before we get too far into our day. Here, hold this bad boy. Good old rolly cart full of packages. I love this rolly cart. Have I ever told you how much I love this rolly cart? It's just the right size, just the right weight. And it follows me like a nice little puppy dog. Bet me I won't pop a willy. Get a side view. Get a side view. Wah! <laughs> Check it out. We're gonna stop by the Brass Armadillo, one of the antique malls that we sell toys in. We've got a huge bag full of stuff to restock today. It's actually been like a week and a half, maybe even almost two weeks since we've been here. We actually did that on purpose. We're really trying to figure out what's the maximum amount of time we can go uh, without coming back to one of our booths, without restocking and without checking on it to make sure it's not completely a wreck because I know we've been talking a lot about travel, but we're trying to do some travel soon and we want to know about how long we can stay away before our booths are a wreck. And I'm hoping, you know, two or three weeks is possible. Of course, certain places we sell at, they have a, they have, you know, you let people know and say, hey, we're leaving for a couple weeks and they'll keep an eye on it. It's not a big deal, but uh, 
We'll see. It might be a really big wreck today. It might just be trash. So we might be like, all right, two weeks is a little bit too much, but uh, stick around to find out. Quite surprisingly, it is not wrecked. It is not wrecked at all. And I'm actually surprised because I didn't remember which was what, but one of our Megazords sold and I thought it was that one, but it was the big one, which is cool. Cause I've said every time we put one of those in here that it's gonna sell and it always does. So let's go ahead and put this place semi back into order. I mean, there's no real order to be had, but uh, that's not ours. Hold on to that. And I'm gonna have to do some reconfiguring here. Uh, An elf on a shelf. That elf on a shelf is not ours. Uh, somebody has done some juggling with our Ninja Turtle shelf, but that's all right, because I brought more Ninja Turtle shelf stuff today, so like, it's probably gonna need a rearranging anyways. All right, we'll give us a minute to work on this. We'll get right back to you. All right, we restocked and it was a lot more stuff than we normally restock in one week. All thanks to Bob. You guys remember that big box Bob sent us? We put, a, we put about half that stuff in this booth and then uh, I kept a lot of the Doctor Who stuff because your boy's a huge Doctor Who fan, but uh, pretty happy. The shelves look nice and full. That might be the fullest they've looked almost yet. Now there are some big changes I want to make to this booth. I want to finish up to here out with these bigger shelves. I want to get a couple more bigger shelves out. So basically there's three or four of this size shelf and basically none of these. And I'll put those shelves back in my game room. Uh, we'll probably be doing that in the next couple weeks. We're kind of waiting just a little bit to open up another booth on another part of town. And when we do that, we'll do a whole shelf shuffle. So subscribe if you haven't already, because you're going to want to see us opening a new booth. It'll be fun times when we do it, but uh, I think we're good here. We're good for today. We'll come back next week, see how bad it's wrecked. I need to get more Nerf guns in here, which means I need to put another piece of pegboard down, you think? Yeah. Because it's, Hannah was just saying off camera, it's like a, what'd you call it? Just Nerf gun Tetris. Nerf gun Tetris over here on this wall. And uh, I've sold my biggest guns. Uh, there was a bunch of Nerf Mega hanging here. Those all sold. Uh, Strangely, though this booth here does better, this is our best-selling booth, the Nerf guns don't do as good here as they do at our other booth across town. So, you know, I don't know. I, I might take some of those better guns because, like, I've already sold one of these there, you know, and I don't know what else. I don't think that one's sold there yet. No. Uh, Was this one there, too? I had one of those there and it already sold. Mm -hmm. uh, what was I just thinking about though? You hung this one up. I, I sold this one there. That one and this one. I've sold that one there twice. Yeah. So it's not as good as Nerf guns here, but like I've never sold a clock at the other one, but I've sold four or five clocks here. So, you know, we're learning. We're learning as we go, but let's get out of here. Let's get over to the thrift stores. There's a couple thrift stores on this side of town that we haven't been to in like two weeks. So I'm excited for it. Another high five. Another one, another one, another one, another one. I'm trying not to get my hopes up right now because yesterday's haul, if you didn't watch yesterday's video, go back and watch it. Oh my goodness, it was the best, the best video game score, I think, to date for me. So usually what comes after the best days of our lives, usually it's the worst days of our lives. So today's haul might be nothing, and if it is, I blame it on yesterday, but that's cool because we haven't been to this Goodwill in a week and usually when we hold off on coming to a Goodwill that's this good for a little while, usually it restocks and it turns into a pretty good day, but we'll see. I'm not holding my breath today. So these are a little expensive, so I'm not going to get them, but I do love them. They are the wildflower pattern for Corel. There's two of them here. Which is a shame, I wish there was more of them because those are pretty collectible. People like that pattern a lot, but um, with that price and there were only being two, it's just not worth my time. That's not a game. This location always has some really nice vintage glassware. Very excited to see what we got here. Little Fire King bowls. These things in a little worse for wear so that's a bummer to see but it's cute i like it a lot i just got distracted by that teapot it's kind of cool um ooh, this looks pyrexy oh wow that's in great condition eight bucks it's not like a high ticket one but it is tempting i'm gonna, I'm gonna look it up for sure that's full price, so no. That's, that's a no. That's how much I sell them for. Oh man, it's a little Fire King cutie down there. That peach luster. Got a lot of that. 
Hmm. Some, some interesting stuff. I like this guy, but I already have him in my booth. So we're gonna wait until that one sells before we get another one. It's the first time I picked that one up, so. We're not gonna press our luck until we know it works. Well, I got excited. But then, she's not in the box. What happened? Well, someone came in here, didn't like the price tag, and it was like, I'll just take it. Look at this little cutie. It's a little pitcher by Thermoserve. It's pretty cool. It's 350, that's not bad. I'm gonna look it up. Those usually aren't worth much, but they're really cute, and I think it's worth looking up. So they have done a good little bit of restocking. Lots of stuff on the bag wall, but also Big Rip. Somebody spilt their Powerade or their Big Red or something. Don't step in it. Okay, I just took a peek at this little picture on eBay. Look at his little cups. They're so cute. I love them, but it's really not worth a ton, and I don't have the little cups, so we're definitely not going to get that. I am, however, interested in that guy, but he is really damaged, so probably not gonna end up getting that one either, which is a bummer. I really want one of those. I sold one already, but um, kinda regret it. Kinda wish I, I could have kept it, but it's okay. I find those all the time. We got a fresh cart. There's a couple video games. Oh, wow, these are really pretty. Look at that. That's so fancy. A little robin's egg blue with the gold trim. Ooh. Nortic china from Japan. They're really pretty. I wish the cups were here. Those would be really pretty too. I'd love to see them. <sighs> so many pretty things here. All right, let's go. This might be my first peach ever that I've found. Flush peach, 249, good price. Let's go. Nom. I love ramen. Hmm. I'm in the back corner of the store where the emergency exit is. This one is stashed in Xbox. It's in all right shape, but I don't know what the price on it is. Uh, I've got four or five of them at home. I don't really need to mess with it, but I do wonder why it's just stashed back here. The tragedy of Hurricane Lance is that the tops always break, but look at that beautiful little Hand painted glass. That's so cute. Oh, I wish the top was here. So we only picked up a peach at that last stop. That was better than nothing. Now we're moving on to the legendary round front Goodwill. It usually does as well. I think the last two or three times we've been here, I left with a whole slew of Nerf guns. But again, I'm just I'm trying to lower expectations here. <laughs> I'm not expecting a lot today. I'm really just not, and I'm gonna be fine, even if we do. Cause you know, we'll just go thrifting again tomorrow if it doesn't go well. <laughs> I got really excited because a couple of times I have been to this Goodwill and there's been a slew of Mickey cups. And this time there's the same kind of cup, but they're all Shrek. Like there's like 10 of them. Sad, <laughs> not same. Could there be any video games? Well, they're normally right there and they're not. They replaced my games with romance novels. Where are they? This is like disaster scenario. Here we go. Still pretty bad, there's nothing. These are so incredibly cute. Look at these little vintage mushroom canisters. They want $7.50 a piece, which is too much for me to buy them, unfortunately. I'm so sad about it. I hoped that they were worth a little bit more than that because these are a little iconic, but um, they're not. They're just about 30 bucks for the three, and that's such a shame. I was really hoping for like 100 bucks for three of them, and I'd be like, yes, sold, but alas, paying $23 for a $30 profit, not gonna work. Well, I think I found one thing. It feels really light, though. Well, the disc is in there. I'll probably grab that. So I'm sensing a little bit of a theme today that everything that I want is $8. So this little pie plate is really cute. Um, it's made in China, so it's not old, but um, the apple slices, anytime I see these fruit lid pie plates, I know that there's a little bit of collectability in there. So um, a little bit of value. This one goes for about $25. So $8, $25, I 
we're gonna think about it for a minute because that is a bit of a buy-in. Maybe we'll find something else and forget about this altogether. Look at this SpongeBob. What is that for like putt putt or something? Never seen that one. There's a lot of bag toys here. Some of my biggest Skylander and Infinity hulls were from here. Though it doesn't look like we're doing that today. I don't know though. What else is there? There's a bare bottom baby. I don't really see anything worth jumping for. I have been thinking about filling a gumball machine though with army men. I keep seeing army men and thinking about it, but that's not, that's not on today's agenda. All right, what else? Okay, I think we found something that's gonna make me not leave empty handed. Look at this though. Little federal glass bowls, got like this iridescent ombre going on, it's really nice. I looked it up, it's called the Mesa Moss. Now this is pretty cool. One of the, what are they called? Red Guard, Red Guard Soldier, I don't remember. Uh, throne Room Guard, something for Star Wars. And that has 249 on it. Last time I saw those at a Goodwill, they were like $10, so. We're gonna get that, and oh my God, I'm gonna buy this so fast, your head's gonna spin. We have to show this to Hannah. Hannah! Excuse me. Oh, right? Yeah. Right? So definitely buying that. I need a cart. What'd you find? All the Corning Visions. These amber ones? This is a $55 bowl. I've never seen that before, so that's probably at least $30. This one is so-so. It might be like 20 bucks max. I might not get that one, plus I already have it. But this baby is coming home with me. All right, I'll go get you a cart. Okay, thanks. Skirt! Hey. You want the big one? Home show. Super ultimate mega book. It's the biggest book. It's the biggest book of airplanes. I'm almost gonna drop it. That's huge. Oh man. Some inbox Rugrats stuff. It's pretty, it's a little roughed up. I'd be really excited if this was like Chucky or Phil or Lil or Angelica or something. Uh, hmm. Let's see the date on it. 2000. Man, probably gonna pass it up, but I should probably look it up. I can't imagine it's worth anything. But I've said that before. Check this out. Not the aquarium. Fart. Fast. Flatulent. Fun. Okay. Fells for Tupperware, and this is the rice cooker for your microwave, and it's pretty cool. I've never seen this colorway. It's got the teal top and the um, beige bottom, which is really nice. Um, it's got the proper inserts in it too. Woohoo! Yay! There's another little microwave steamer here. I don't really want to pay two forty nine for that. It's only about a ten dollar thing. I'm not gonna mess with that. But let's see what else we got. Let's see. A uh, little sandwich container. Nah. What is that? The pasta boat? Neat. It's a pasta boat. It's a boat for your pasta. Well, it turns out you're having a pretty good day today. I did it! You were doing a good day. You've had a couple slow days, haven't you? I have. These dishes are pretty awesome. Oh, they're beautiful. And they're not easy to one hand. Nope. <laughs> I got you. Put that in that there buggy. It's going in the buggy. And then we got some toys. I'm very happy about this EV. That's probably gonna be my find of the day. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's remote control. I've made it made noise. I guess it rolls around. I don't know. Well, I don't see a mechanism to make it roll, but I'm happy about it. So let's gently put her in the buggy and let's go to another Goodwill. Let's do it. This should only be the second time you will have seen this particular Goodwill on the channel. I believe. The last time we came here, uh, we realized this was a Goodwill that we had went to early on before we had the channel and we hadn't been to it in a long time because it doesn't come up on Apple Maps. It just refuses to, but we found it through other means and uh, we're here now. It's now a regular stop, so stick around. I think someone DIY'd a Pokemon in pottery class. Look at that. They did a good job. It's convincing. Definitely looks like a dog. That could definitely be a Pokemon and I just, don't recognize it right now because there are like 400 million Pokemon now. Hmm. All right, we got 
some cute little Pyrex babies here. Five bucks a piece with no lid probably is not worth it, but they got them. They are here. Someone else is gonna like it. Got a little corning wear. Some more corning visions. Hmm. Little baby cast iron. This one's actually intriguing. The wooden handle on it. Five bucks. It's cute. Might get that for my boot. Maybe. We'll see. Oh, here's something interesting. It's a little like cast iron hot plate. Probably more useful as a wall hanging, but maybe. Not really a I'm not really into the like westerny kind of things, but I know a lot of people are, so I can't knock it out. I'm not shopping for me, I'm shopping for everyone else, so that might be worth it. This toy wall has almost, almost nothing but Barbies. Interesting. Look at this. It's a little Peter Rabbit cookie jar. He's got Peter Rabbit on the top. How much is it's it? So cute. It's $5. Get it. I love it. You're coming home with me, little Peter Rabbit. You're so cute. I love it. Aftermarket. Aftermarket. He's, <laughs> he's reading it like it's a manual on how to kill a mockingbird. Oh my god. That's so funny. I love that. I don't chase mice. Okay. There's so much here to talk about right now. I mean, what's going on there? I don't know. We're gonna come back to that actually. A kitty reading Harper Lee and you know that's cool. I actually really like that. But what is it? I don't chase mice. What does that mean? These these cowpoke here, real cowboys. Whatever's going on there. Hot house tiger. I really need this explained to me. Someone donated their interesting animal art collection. All of which they've labeled. It says Norman Catwell. All right. Now I gotta know. Well, the moose doesn't say anything. I really wanna know what's going on. I hate that I can't find out what, why someone did that. I mean, here's another one. It's a pug reading a newspaper. It says relaxing on the toilet. I mean, one might assume that the same person made all this art and these are just like their showcase and the, the names on them, so you know what to call them. But I mean, they're not all the same art style. That's a specific art style. That's a photograph, different art style. I, I don't know. Maybe it was somebody who was selling posters and stuff and that's just how they showed off the prints, but okay. Oh, wow. Look at this beautiful grandfather clock. That's $75 for it, which, I mean, I don't know the value of grandfather clocks, but I feel like that's reasonable. It's really nice. It's got the like turnkey at the bottom there. It's really pretty. All right, well. I bought a few video games, nothing crazy, but some stuff for the collection. Hannah bought her new favorite thing ever. It's so cute. You, just, you need to find the book and sell it with it. <laughs> all right, well, I think it's gonna be all the thrifting for today. So let's go home. Let's talk about all this stuff that we bought. You down? Let's do it. Hold on a second. you back <laughs> you knew it i was like itching my nose and everything like i'm with a hot face i think you might have screamed even harder than i did were you sitting there picking your nose is that what you said no, I, was I, my nose oh, I, didn't, here. I thought you said you were picking your nose i was like i got it on camera now we're even all right okay I'm no sorry. more <laughs> oh man she fell for the old i'm gonna go check something in the back of the van trick i trusted you <laughs> Well, at least I didn't sneak up out of you on the blue. When you got me, I had no idea you even existed. <laughs> That's why it was gonna be so good. <laughs> we gotta, we gotta watch this footage back. It was too good. We're gonna do something we haven't done on the channel in a little while. We're gonna eat at Chipotle. If you haven't been with us for very long, there was a while there, 
Uh, it was kind of before you started on the channel. She was still working her regular job and I was kind of starting our reselling business. So I would thrift every day while she worked and every day for lunch I ate Chipotle, like every single day for months. And uh, been missing it. I want some right now. What'd you get? Got a chicken bowl. Same. Do we eat like the same thing everywhere we go? <laughs> That's how you know we've been together for so long. She likes, she likes white rice though. I like brown rice. And I like beans and you don't. She likes the beans and I don't, that's true. So not same. Not same at all. All right guys, we are back home. Look, you can't see it because we're trying a different camera today to see if we can get some better focus than we've been having. Uh, so we've got a whole table full of stuff right here just off camera that we're gonna show to you now. So stick around. Let's talk about some of the stuff we bought. There's some of this stuff that uh, I think is pretty exciting. And I'm gonna start with my most exciting thing. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna just right off the bat. We're not holding anything back. I'm so pumped about this. Oh my God. <laughs> that is the best thing I've ever found at the thrift store. Um, there's a remote control Wally, right? Have yeah. you seen it? You guess, some of you guys might know about it, okay? If you ever find it and the controller, it's worth bank. It's worth a bunch of money. Though, just the Wally without the controller, I've sold it like four times now for 25 bucks, okay? So I just kind of figured that Pixar kind of nostalgia stuff people are going to want to buy. So when I saw this, I was like, somebody's paying $20 for this. You know what I mean? Like seriously, that's what that's 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 the feeling it gave me. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get rid of it. Yeah, it's, I love it. It's she a, blinks. So it's much. it's amongst the coolest toys I've ever brought home. <laughs> I got. I've probably got to keep it. I love it. We're just gonna go ahead and put it on the shelf. Now I need to get a Wally to put up there with him. Yeah. Her. The Wally's yellow. <laughs> if that's, I don't know. I'm super happy about that. All right, what'd you get? I got, gosh, I got so much of these amber glass dishes. Look at this behemoth. Well, hold on. Let's start with this one. Oh. You just gave away. You, you did know. the same thing I did. You started at the top. I buried the lead. <laughs> um, so that's a big one. pot. This one's crazy. because That's I, like the size of your head. Yeah. And this one's the size of mine. <laughs> He got a four and a half leap quart, four and a half quart head. <laughs> and so you've sold these before, right? Yes. These actually do really well in my booth. Um, I've sold the bigger one a couple of times, both the four and a half quart and the five quart. The five quart I do for 55. I think the four and a half I did for like 50, maybe 45. This one, I haven't even seen this shape before. I don't even know what size it is. It doesn't say on it. So I'm gonna have to figure that out and figure out how much it's actually worth. But ballpark, maybe 40 bucks, maybe 35. I remember the last time you brought one of the big ones to your booth, like we put it in there, we came home and our sales report that night, you had sold it. Yeah, it was crazy. Yeah, These things do really well. I don't know, I, I guess. It's just, I think for people who like dishes and like to have a good set of dishes at home, that's pretty much a staple. You gotta have that big old corning pot. Yeah, like nostalgia too. Like I, I personally think that'd make a great size cereal bowl. <laughs> Just a <the> whole box. <laughs> All right, what else did I get? I got a peach, which is kind of funny because that toy booth that we visited today you used to have a whole Mario shelf. Just full of Mario stuff. And uh, I've sold all of it. There was a Luigi and a Goomba left. So I need to get some more Mario stuff in there. I used to keep all these little plushies, but... We've turned all the shelves into just game shelves now, and I'm kind of trying to quit keeping some of this stuff. But I'll probably put, I don't know, eight, nine dollars on or something like that. I, I, I'll try to look it up, but almost every plushie that I put in there that's Mario related. Bless you. Thank you. <laughs> uh, I can get a few bucks out. So, what else did you get? Oh, I, I got a bunch of stuff that I'm just really excited about. Look at this. This thing, this thing is ridiculous. What is it? It looks so delicious. It's a pie plate with a lid so, that looks like a pie. Do you bake a pie in there? Yeah. Do you bake pies? I've never made one. <laughs> yes, you bake pies. You bake the pie crust, and sometimes you bake the filling with okay, it. Okay, but you don't always bake the filling. Yeah, it depends on what kind of pie you're making. So that's why I was confused. I don't know. The st I know there's steps. Google it. Um, <laughs> but this is the lid, and so what? 
What happens if the pie you make doesn't look as good as this? Because I'm going to be honest with you. like, If I'm just like, oh, that looks so good, and I take this off, and there's just a plain top pie on there. It's like an egg cream Yeah, you gotta be, you got to be careful with this. you gotta, you got to be like a grade A, A1 <laughs> pie maker to use that. You're going to spoil it. Oh, it's so pretty, though. All right, I bought a... I should have looked it up before this. I said earlier, I think he's the, they're the Red Guard thrown in the in the um, in the newer movies. Uh, what's the bad guy's name? Snoke. Snoke. Um, these are the guys guarding the throne room, and I, I've been wanting one of these big these big ones because it's not the 12 inch, right? He's like 14 inches or so. Uh, I mean, they make them like three feet tall. But these sell really well in our toy, in my toy booth, and they're. But for some reason, I guess because they're newer, and the employees at the Goodwills recognize them. The last five or six times I've seen this, it's been like ten bucks. So I got it for two dollars a day. Gonna throw it in my toy booth, and it'll probably get sold really quick. It kind of amazes me. A little tip for some of you people wanting to do some of this antique reselling, antique store reselling that we do. Which, by the way, just so you know, there's. I haven't really counted, like I haven't tallied it, but I can think of off the top of my head about five people that have either showed me a picture of their toy booth that they've started since starting to watch our channel, or have exclusively told me they're going to find out, like they're trying to find a place to That's get you. So, cool. so people me, uh, message me on Instagram or share pictures over on the Discord, a great reason to go join our public Discord. Um, a lot of people have seen us do it and thought, man, I should try it. And, and that's really cool. So I'm saying this because there's, there's anytime I find out there's a number of people that um, think something on our channel or do something or have done something because of us, just any number of things, I always basically find out later there's even more. There's just probably plenty of you people uh, that don't comment on YouTube videos and stuff, that, so I would never really know. But I'm saying this to say I know there's a lot of people watching that have an interest in what we're doing with the reselling, so I'm going to go ahead and throw this out there. This kind of modern action figure type stuff, it's amazing what you can get away with with reselling it because this was probably $10 new at Walmart, and you can definitely still sell it for $10 now. And more so those 12-inch ones because they're the standard ones, right? Those 12-inch, when I first started doing this, I remember walking into antique booths and seeing a whole shelf full of the 12-inch figures. You can go to Walmart right now. They're cheap plastic and they're like six bucks and people will still sell it for six, sometimes seven dollars. I don't know what it is. I think I think moms walk into those antique, uh, mom and dads walk into those antique stores and just want their kid to be quiet. So it's like, sure, here's a seven dollar Spider-Man, be quiet. I don't know if that's what it is, but it's crazy how well you can resell that kind of thing. It holds its value in that kind of store, I think. All right, you got one more thing, right? I did. This is my cream of the crop. Peter Rabbit. Little Peter Rabbit. Uh, Signified by his bright blue jacket. Show him here. Let me show the camera. So cute. This little egg shaped cookie jar. Who was it that voiced him in the new movies? Uh, the talk show, the British one? Oh, James Corden? Yeah. Well, I, yeah. I don't know why I couldn't think of his name. My favorite Doctor Who episodes are the two that he's in. Uh, I love that, uh, that little saga with Matt Smith. Um, but yeah, that's pretty cool. That's definitely going to sell in your booth. Oh yeah, for, for sure. sure. Some collector's going to be like, oh my god, I love Peter Rabbit. Love and that's Peter the Rabbit. cutest little thing I've ever seen. I love it. I don't collect Peter Rabbit. So that's just, awesome. It's just, this sells it. Him sitting on top yeah. of it. If it was just him painted on the side of the yeah. jar, you'd be like, eh. Just, no. That's awesome. All right. <laughs> I also bought some video games today, four of them to be exact. I'll tell you what's funny about, well, at least three of these games is that I was certain I already had them, but I scanned them and checked them in my app and I didn't have them. Uh, I had them like on Xbox or I had them on some other platform. So uh, Need for Speed, Carbon, which I have, this is the one game out of these four I have played before um, when I was younger. So that's awesome. I might pop that in tonight just to relive that one. Surf's Up, I guess I had it on Xbox or maybe, maybe I have it on GameCube or something. I can't remember what, but I've got it on another console. But this was a pristine copy, so I was happy to grab that for the PS2. Because we're approaching like 700 games. I don't know. There's <laughs> uh, Alvin and the Chipmunks, which I was could have sworn I had, but again, another console. And I'll be honest with you, that game looks terrible. Maybe <laughs> that'd be good for our bad video game series that we do. And then yeah. Viet Cong, Purple Haze, a little Vietnam War game, I guess. I don't really have a ton of interest in war games personally, but uh, I do want that for the collection. So that was pretty good. Um, nothing, nothing crazy, but I, uh, I love getting this nonsense out of the way for the PS2 because it is my biggest collection. And uh, 
try to make it bigger. You know what I mean? And it's nice when it's all complete. Let's talk favorite things. What's your favorite thing you got? Ooh, my favorite thing that I got is gonna be the Peter Rabbit cookie jar. This is not a big cookie jar at all. Like, you better be making some small cookies if you're gonna put it in this. Well, hey, we <laughs> still have those cookies that, well, they're actually- Yeah, there's not many The cookies that Rose sent us in the mail the other day. Um, that's about the right size. Yeah, that would work. This is my favorite. <laughs> You it's, get the prize for five of the day. It's perfect. It's so cute. I do need to clean him off though. He's scuffed from bumper. I didn't even press the button. You made her mad. <laughs> yeah, I'm happy about this. I, I guess if you give her too much of a, or it's a sensor. I don't know. I think it's. I bet that's supposed to be a motion detector. So like, if you're a kid and you sit in front of your door, she guards you. That's so cool. That's awesome. That's definitely my find of the day. You guys comment below. Let us know what your favorite thing that we got today was. Was it the giant pots? Was it the apple pan? Was it the video games? Was it the red guard? Was it the peach? Was it the cookie jar? I named everything, didn't I? Yeah. Without right. looking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. We're gonna get out of here though. Uh, Definitely come back tomorrow if you liked anything you saw in today's video because we do post daily videos here on this channel. We're hoping to go to the Goodwill Bins tomorrow. No promises because anytime I promise that we're going to do that, we do something else. But uh, we've been filling the Goodwill Bins yesterday because, you know, did you see yesterday's haul? If you didn't, go back and watch yesterday's haul because it was nutso. All right? It was wild. Uh, so hopefully we can go back and relive that victory again tomorrow uh, also before we get out of here do me a couple big favors uh, i already mentioned the discord but it is a good time to go join that so just go over there and join check out what a lot of other community members are talking about or showing off that they found at the thrift etc etc hey i'm telling you every day there's somebody on the discord that is way out doing us there's mm -hmm. always one because you know, there's enough people in there i think we're like literally at like 482 people something really just shy of 500 so it's a nice number of people and so there's always out of 500 people shopping at, or garage selling on saturdays like there's going to be somebody that gets something crazy so it's always nice to see it. it's always good motivation too very often we're kind of at home feeling a little bit lazy not ready to get in gear to go to the thrift store and i'll see something somebody will post on the on the discord and i'll be like all right hannah get your purse put your blouse on let's go <laughs> So go join the Discord if you haven't already. Also, before we go, check out our merch store, tendostrash.com. Uh, we just sold a, I don't know why, but today we just sold a bunch of uh, Tendo shades. So if you order some, we'll ship them out first thing tomorrow. They're on the way. Also, guys, listen to me. Hit the subscribe button. Yes. We are already just zooming towards 5,000 subs, and uh, I'd like to keep that momentum going. I'd like to get up to high, like... I don't know, I don't have goals. I'm not like, you know, I, I don't go, oh, I gotta do 10,000 by the end of the year or anything like that, but. Uh, I feel like that's possible though. Yeah, well, no, it, it definitely is, at least at this speed, because I mean, we're, we've done 100 a day almost for a few days in a row. Um, I, I don't know though, I, like I'm feeling like, I can't wait to be in the hundreds of thousands, but like I'll start feeling more comfortable about our choice to do this for a living and to be content creators for a living when we get to you know 50,000 range, when we get up there. Um, it's just gonna take a little time, but we just gotta hold the momentum on the way there and I think it'll be actually pretty easy to do. So that being said, if you liked anything about what you just saw, definitely hit that subscribe button, help us out. Turn on those notifications so that tomorrow, when we post tomorrow's video, you can come back and hang out with us then. Have I left anything out? No. All right. Until tomorrow, guys. Peace out.